So, you've made it clear what kind of a fella you are. I don't judge you for it. As long as you do all I ask of you, what you do elsewhere, don't bother me or my mistress one jot. But, good, bad, or indifferent, you gotta make yourself a living. This is Samson Finch. Yep. Mr. Finch is like you or like me. He has a bone to pick with some fellas as did him a wrong. That I do. Tell him about it. I ain't gonna lie to you. Truth is, I'm a bad bastard. I lived my way, but I stuck to my word and did what I said I would, especially to them as stuck by me. Mr. Finch has a little predicament. I was planning a job, a good job. Thing took a goddamn year. It was gonna make me pretty rich. Then my partner went yellow and betrayed me. If you and your bunch will help me do this robbery and get back at him, well, like I said, I ain't never betrayed no one. I ain't about to start. Plus, well, this is a fine job. If I had a group I can trust, we could all do well. So you in. Now, I ain't gonna pretend it's not a nasty business. We're robbing robbers that know they're gonna get robbed. Not outlaws, the real robbers. Industrialists with deep pockets. And good luck, everyone. But I've heard quite enough for me to join you at the gallows, should things go wrong. How about you ride with me and I explain more about it? It's a nasty plan, but a good one. Orly, I see you around, friend. Sure. Just try to stay out of too much trouble. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. And if you should choose to amend your ways and try a different path, well, I'm sure Mr. Jones could help guide you a little. Come with me, friends. Saddle up. Let's go. Come on, ride with me. Here's the plan. These industrialists you're robbing, they're some of the worst folk I know. Or at that kerosene and tar plant up the way, they got a train of strike breakers and killers from detective agency coming in by train. Fresh off of some other recent incident. You're gonna jump this train, deal with the black-hearted bastards on board, and ride it all the way into the refinery, okay? Once you're there, the guards are going to know you're not detectives here to beat up strikers. So get ready for a fight. The men with the money will probably be in the upstairs office of the refinery. Their cash is yours to divide amongst yourselves after. If I hadn't been betrayed by my partners, my brothers in arms, I'd be with you myself. But now I got to go and make a nuisance of myself in Valentine. So they don't round me up and fit me with a rope necktie for this. It's enough for me to know that it's done is all. Now, your train will be coming from the east. You need to make it stop or find a way on board. These are detectives. Thugs, trained bullies, they aren't scared of anything. I have no reason to believe they won't pull the brakes for you if you just stand in that train's way. But if you give them a reason to be suspicious, the violence will be quick and absolute. I am sure you are more than capable of getting it done. Me? I've never been very good at playing with others. So I might hog tie an associate, leave him on the tracks, and stand back under the bridge. That part of the plan is up to you.
where I would take the train. You got high ground up there, or that gully for cover. Plenty of options. Now figure out a way to stop it. And how are you going to win this fight when it comes to it? Getting it done is all I really care about. Okay? Look good to you? Good. The train is coming. Take it, then get to the refinery and clear them out there. I need to ride for Valentine. I'll be near old Fort Wallace if you want more work. Chop! Chop!